Creations, your one-stop shop when it comes to customization. Totes, tees, tumblers, hats, and more. Looking for a customized gift idea for a graduation, birthday party, baby shower, or just a unique creation of your own? Check out Shazaz Creations as seen here on Whitney D TV. Female, black owned. Use my promo in the description box down below and let her know Whitney D of Whitney D TV sent you. Thank you. Bye. What's up, Jewel Gang? So I would like to address this white woman who goes by the name of Nikki Marie on Facebook. Her page is private, but her DMs are wide open. You see, this scarecrow thought it'd be a good idea to slide in a black woman's DM, bully and harass her over having a small disability. Pause and read. Pause and read. Pause and read. You see, this beautiful black woman you decided to harass for having a small disability when being compared to you is walking art. Black women are literally walking Picassos, which is why snow roaches like you envy us so much. You look like the cashier at H-E-B that has to call the manager every five seconds because you're too stupid to work the register. You look like splattered bird shit dried up on the side of someone's car. You couldn't match her beauty if she gave you an audio booklet with a step-by-step -step description on how to do so. And between me and you, I'm the bigger bully. Sit your ass down.
Shazazz Creations, your one-stop shop when it comes to customization. Totes, tees, tumblers, hats, and more. Looking for a customized gift idea for a graduation, birthday party, baby shower, or just a unique creation of your own? Check out Shazazz. Hey, everybody. I know y'all can hear me, right? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the channel, everybody. If you're new, don't be. Go ahead and click that subscribe button to be a part of the Witness Gang to join the Witness Nation. Now, let's get into this, shall we? Hello, you guys, and welcome to the channel. If you're new, don't be. I'm with me. All right, welcome back, everybody. I had to, I had to zoom myself in. Okay, I had to get a little closer, a little bit. Let me, let me get you back just a little bit. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Y'all like that? How y'all doing? How we doing? How is everybody doing this Friday night? What up? What up? What up? I'm just in a great spirit today. God is good. Yes, let's say hi to everybody before we get into everything. Okay, welcome, you guys. Welcome. What's up, sweet and humble? She says, hey, Whitney DTV chat. Oh, thanks, sis, for making me a mod. Absolutely. Love you. Hey, chat. Hold on. Chastity? Chastity? Hey, girl. Welcome. That's new. a new name. You coming out the bushes? Hey, girl. Hey, Michelle. Hey, honey bunches. You ready? Tonight is going to be a, another epic night. We've been doing good having with you guys. Hey, Monique. She said, hey, Whitney, I'm glad I caught the show on time tonight. Yes, yes, yes. You always know that the show may start at 7, but we're probably not going to start till about 7.15, 7.20. Um, I always do five-minute, um, like, wait screen intro, if you will. Then, you know, I always give my little spew of my rules and regulations over here. I say hi to everybody, and then we get into everything. So, you know, I just, you know, precursor. So, you know, you guys can come in like 15 minutes in, and you're you're basically on time. Hey, Amber Bamber, my love. That's that's my that's my that's my heart right there. She be she stays in my DMs and so encouraging. Hey, Quana, welcome back, girl. Long time no see. Mm -hmm. Hey, Vera Beer, my love. Um, and I think that's everybody. Nola, hey, honey, welcome back. All right, you guys, hello. I pray you guys are having a super stupid blessed Friday. If not, you're going to, okay? And I'm going to, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> get into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know y'all been complimenting my fedoras. I'm up to something with these fedoras. I'm just going to put that like that, okay? But yes, you know, I liked that my little side ponytail from last night, so I brought it back. Hopefully, I don't pop too much ish and it don't come out but not for nothing um i just got some wonderful news today and if you guys were able to um catch it um i'm i'm, I'm gonna pull i'm gonna pull the little video up again i was being cute with the announcement but um i'm gonna uh hold on let me see let me see if i think this is it is this the video hold on y'all I don't want to be showing y'all something that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Yeah, I think this is it. Um, no, that's not it. <laughs> Let me see. That's not it. Oh, that's not it. Oh, I can actually show y'all. I can show y'all. Let me show y'all. <laughs> I was being cute or whatever with my announcement. Hey, Angela. Hey, honey, bunches of oats. I was being cute or whatever with my announcement, but. <laughs> so if y'all didn't get to see this, let me go on and show y'all real quick. Okay, let me show y'all real quick. Run it back. 
So if y'all didn't catch that, okay, if y'all didn't catch that little tease, which I don't think y'all did because it, it didn't, it didn't show y'all. Lord, let me, let me, let me just go on and tell y'all. So I got a call, <laughs> not, not, not a call. I actually got an um, email that I would like to share with you guys. Oh, okay. Sorry. I got an email, you guys. Listen to this, okay? Just, just listen to me. Let me pop my ish for just a little bit, okay? And then we're going to get into everything. NYT interview request slash R. Kelly goes on to say, hi, Whitney. I'm a writer at the New York Times and was just reaching out since I've been covering the R. Kelly trial. I've been looking at the huge online culture around the trial, and I just came across your breakdowns on YouTube and was wondering if you'd be up for chatting on the phone. And it goes on to, to say what exactly everything is going to be pertain, uh, uh, um, what, what it all is going to be in regards to um, the interview. And I, I, I did my research. I looked bruh up, and he's affiliated with the New York Times. <sighs> little old delusional me i just you know you know whatever so i had to get out cute or whatever you know okay because you know i'm just saying okay <laughs> so somebody's watching not just my haters <laughs> okay so with that being said let me go ahead and get all comfortable or whatnot or whatever hey kimmy Thank you, Amber Bamber, and thank you for keeping that secret for me until I was ready to, you know, tell everybody. Thank you, Amber. Okay, y'all, let's get into everything. Okay, so on last night, we were talking, we, we, man, it was great last night. If you guys weren't able to catch last night, it was good. I want to share this snippet from last night, and it's going to segue into what I'm going to discuss. Okay, let me share my screen with you once more. Yeah, let me share my screen. I was going to share the video. Let me share my screen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me share my screen. Y'all share at this moment. Take the time out to share, please. Just share, 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 share. Okay, let me get to it. Actually, yeah, let me just share the bag home video. Bump it. Did I? Don't tell me I didn't. Okay, whatever. Let's do this because this the devil is busy. He mad, but it's okay. Okay, so let me share this because I want to I want to get into a snippet of what we was discussing on last night, and it was very pivotal to say the least because it's gonna get us into what we are gonna be discussing on tonight. So y'all just bear with me. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Okay, well, I can't find the clip. Ugh, it sucks because I could have sworn I downloaded it. But again, you know, this crazy show. Not for nothing. What I want. Oh, there it go right there. There it go. My bad. Okay, there you go. Quana, he did. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. That's so sweet. 
And see, when you are able to rally behind somebody else, it's going to come back to you. That's why I have no problem giving people props. I keep my, my mouth off of people. I don't, I don't talk about people. I try my best to love on people because you, you reap what you sow. And what you put out there, definitely know that you're going to get it back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it up because this is what we were discussing on last night. Yes, there it goes. Okay, this is what we were discussing on last night, and I'm going to, we're going to segue into, um, crap. Hmm? I see, baby. Okay, here we go. Y'all listen to this real quick. And if y'all can't hear it, let me know. Let me move this over. And he was shunned by family. He tried to kiss me. I blocked him. And that's the reason why you see so much outrage on this side. Because you don't get justice. So this is justice for a lot of people. You don't get therapy. For example, our village. He went through this when he was a kid. Did he get therapy? No. Did he even try to seek it? No. So even therapy. It's rare. Well. Okay. I, um, sorry. I heard people said they couldn't hear it. That first part, it was okay. But what I wanted to hear, because the irony of what we're about to get into, it's just, it's just weird. And that's how I know I move according to God's will for my life and for my channel. On last night, if you guys were here, you heard me say towards the end of the uh, stream how... This sexual abuse is it, 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 it's really prevalent. And more times than none, people get touched. They just don't talk about it. Sorry, y'all, I'm sending this uh, link to my mom and then Angelo. More often than none, people get touched. And um, what I want to share with you guys is someone else stating their experience, okay? Let me let me share this with you guys. I don't know if you guys heard it or not, but 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 check this out. This individual may look familiar to you. All the all the reports oh, yeah. of sexual abuse. Oh, yeah. The young there are so many others that don't say anything and will never say anything and will go to their graves. I'm, I'm talking about young boys who get touched. I'm, I've never said this. Yep. I, I've never said this publicly. Only two people in my life have ever heard me say this. And I'm going to say this today because I think it's time for people to speak up. And I've never been, I won't say abused, but even somebody touching you, somebody touching yeah. you, somebody doing something to you that makes you feel uncomfortable. That's assault. That's abuse. And it can have an effect mm -hmm. on your life for a long period of time. And as a young man, especially if you're a young man and you know you're, you're macho and you're supposed to be heterosexual and blah, 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 and you're scared of what people are going to think about you or whatever, that's embarrassing. And it's scary and it has an effect on yeah. you. And a lot of times you don't know what kind of effect it can have on you for many years. But it happened to me as a young boy. And I, like I said, I've never done that. I'm doing this on national television right now, but I think it's important for me, like those gymnasts did, to speak up 
and to say things because we need mm -hmm. other people to speak up, these young men and women to speak up when they are being abused. You're not alone. You have people who will help you. And the people that these victims or these survivors come to, they have to be there to support and help these kids. Once again, I was never penetrated. It was a, it was touching. It was this and that or whatever. It was talking or whatever and things like that. And like, it, I'm young. I'm a kid. I don't know anything about sex, but I don't know what kind of a, it, it could have had a, a huge uh, uh, effect on me. I know I had an issue with relationships for a long period of time and trust and all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. But I never addressed it until I started talking to my therapist. And that was about four years ago. And I told my wife and I told my mom just recently. And I'm saying it here today. So people, even if you're a young boy and it's happening, even if it's just mouth touching or whatever, whatnot, speak up, say something, get the help that you need because you don't know the type of cycle that it could create. It could have been disastrous for me. It could, and it's been disastrous for other people. We brought up the whole R. Kelly situation. I'm not, I know we run out of time. Mm -hmm. We brought the whole R. Kelly situation about how hurt people hurt people. And if other people would have gotten the, the help they needed early on in life, who knows? We could have stopped it a long time ago. So please, let's do something about it. So, like I said on last night, more people than none have been touched. And that's not right. No excuse whatsoever. Thank you, Sharonda, for your donation. Thank you so very much. And I didn't even get into my spew. I'm about to now, but I really wanted to get that, that clip out. That was a man who said that. And we know Mike Hill from Real Housewives of Atlanta. He is the husband um, to, um, gosh, uh, Cynthia Bailey. And we experienced on the show, if you guys paid attention to the show, his behaviors. And see, we think that when stuff happens, it affects us then. Oh, but no. See, we grow with that baggage. See, those that aren't able to get the psychological help uh, with counseling, get the spiritual help. Because like I said on last night, faith without works is dead. You can praise and hallelujah until you're blue in the face. But if you don't amplify the uh, implement the work, meaning therapy and, and resources to that nature, you're just going through the motions. And so as I'm stating in regards to Mike, you see him very promiscuous. If I'm not mistaken, um, Miss Bailey, Cynthia is like his second marriage or something like that, third marriage or what have you. Um, he had all these female friends. He was kind of like the bachelor, the player, the gigolo. When you see a push of sexual aggression like that, it's a child trying to control a narrative at some point that they could not. He said he got touched. Was it by a male? Just maybe. Because if you heard him say, you're supposed to be heterosexual. And so just maybe that's the reason why as he got older, he tried to compensate that feeling, that emotion, because like I've expressed, and like I said before on my documentary, sex is good. God made sex for it to be good for a purpose. Not to be tainted. And when people do that at such young ages, it taints the experience of sex when it's supposed to be beautiful. That itself is demonic. And so 
you have behaviors that come out that manifest themselves and you don't know exactly where it comes from because you try to get that emotion and you try to push it down but how many of us notice when we push down situations it rears its head somewhere else when we try to ignore a situation it comes back in our children that generational cycle that generational curse and so here on Whitney D TV I'm about that action it's more than transcripts reading for me and like I said no shade to anybody who's doing that but it comes a time to where I got to activate my voice for all those that couldn't Mike amplified his voice we never heard about this but see when people tell their testimony it gives people strength to tell theirs so i'll be damned if i allow anyone to diminish anybody's story regardless if you feel it to be true not here thank you mary for your donation so I just wanted to share that with you guys, because as we go into these transcripts reading on tonight, we're still listening to John Doe. Oh, no, I'm not taking my neck off for this one at all until we see more people talking about this. It's not just little girls that get touched. It's little boys like R. Kelly. That we just pushed aside. And if we paid more attention to his outcries. A lot of lives could have been saved. And so that's where we're at tonight. So you've been warned. I, I know this can be very triggering. But we're here to tell our story. Many people are not. Pull up them big girl uh, panties and them big boy draws and let's do the work. Many people are out there wishing they had the strength, the courage to do this. So thank you guys for joining me on tonight. Let's go ahead and get into everything. Those that are coming in, that was Mike Hill, the husband of Real Housewife of Atlanta, um, Cynthia Bailey. Okay. And he's just now telling his story to his wife and mother. That's why you can't put a time frame on when people tell their truths. Nonetheless, you guys, welcome to the channel. Um, thank you guys for coming in and um, giving me your time on tonight. I know it's so many people going live, so much mess out there, and you guys are here. And I appreciate that, like, wholeheartedly. Thank you guys so much. Please take out the time to... Um, uh, like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not done so, okay? Sharing is caring. Grab this video and share. A lot of times YouTube um, mishandles the notification. So if you guys could please share this video onto your community tab, onto your Facebook, your Instagram, wherever it'll allow you to share, share this video, okay? Let's get it out there in the ether and let people know that Whitney is live right now. Get in here, get in here, okay? Share it in your Facebook groups or wherever, okay? Make sure while you guys are here, you keep it cute so you won't get the boot. I, I don't want to kick nobody out today, okay? Now, you don't have to agree with me. However, I ask that you just respect me by respecting yourself, okay? Um, please don't come over here spamming my chat with your free R. Kelly's. He, I guarantee you, he does not watch my channel. I guarantee you. His focus is on this case as it should be, okay? So not for nothing, keep that or take that somewhere else where they support that, okay? I unfortunately... Fortunately, don't support that, okay? So not for nothing, make sure you guys respect my platform, okay? Um, and um, if you would like to join the channel, let me go ahead and get that link for you guys. I tend to put it at the bottom. But um, I forgot to, okay? So excuse me, okay? Let me grab that for you guys right now. All right. Uh-oh. 
Hey, Joey. Welcome back. Okay, so there goes the link if you guys would like to join the channel and become a month uh, monthly membership supporter um, where you can support my channel on, to, on a month to month basis. Um, the link is in the chat, okay? Now, if you want to support me direct and you want to send me um, a, a super chat, highly appreciate it. Just know that 30% goes to YouTube. So if you send me a dollar ninety nine, do the math. 30% of that is going to be subtracted by that total and go to um, uh, YouTube. Okay, rightfully so. This is your platform. I'm just a server in it, okay? Not for nothing. You can also find this information located, bam, right there, along with my PayPal information um, to where you can send me um, donations through that, okay? All right, you guys, not for nothing. I think that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get into everything. Hey, Monica G. Welcome, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's go ahead and get into um, these transcripts. Like I said, we're going to be talking about John Doe, number uno, okay? This is not nephew, okay? Nephew is John Doe number two, which his name is Alex. Thank you, Amber. Thank you guys so very much for your donations. Thank you so, so very much. Hey, Brooklyn D. Hey, CC. Hey, hey, you guys made it. We're just going to get started, okay? You guys going to have to run back, however... The video that I played about Mike um, Hill. Welcome back, Mary Boo. Long time no see. I'm happy that you're back. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Miss you. All right. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get into these transcripts in regards to um, John Doe. Oh, Mary, you made it official. Hey, honey. Hey, hey, hey. Mary made it official. Woohoo! Welcome, welcome, Mary Blue. Now, y'all, she's she she been here, she been here. You know what I'm saying? And I I I I I got it. Trust, I got I got why you 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 went ghost on me, but it's all right. Welcome back, okay? All right, okay. So let's go ahead and get into everything. You guys have any questions, concerns, or comments? Place them in the chat, okay? All right. So let me go ahead. Thank you, Brooklyn. I really am. Today was a beautiful day. I received some awesome news. I did. I received some awesome news for those that are just coming in. I just received news um, that um, the New York Times, yeah, New York Times wants to interview me on behalf of all of my coverage with this R. Kelly situation. That's why I tell you, don't straddle the fence. You either for or you not. Don't I don't straddle the fence. And I've lost a lot of support, a lot of um, people around me because I stand 10 toes down on what I believe. And if you don't like it, I, 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 I don't care. I just don't. It's not that I don't care about you, but I don't, I don't care about your concern when it doesn't concern you, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, so I am very refreshed and I'm happy about um, the news that I received today, along with some other news that I can't release just yet, but it's dope. So I'm just excited. Tonight we um, have our um, weekly... Yep, that's right. You know, tonight is Friday. So you guys got to join me right back over here at, for Music and Convos with Whitney D tonight in, in an hour, actually. So we're going to do a little bit of reading, but I, I'm going to have to leave and we're going to get ready for Music and Convos and we're going to jam out tonight. I'm excited. We have a lot to celebrate. I'm just, man. So I hope you guys stay around for that. Um, it's going to be cool. Thank you, Monica. Exactly. That's why I be trying to tell people. I'm like, y'all must ain't been here from the beginning. I've been talking about, I've been talking like this. I've been real. I've been genuine. Uh, I, but them videos only get five views. So, you know, but do your research about me. Okay. But it's going down tonight. We're going to celebrate. We're going to turn up. I'm excited. Um, yeah. Okay. So anywho, let's go ahead and get into these transcripts because eight o'clock gonna be here before you know it. And it's, um, the pre-schedule. Let me get it. To, let me get it, the link for you guys. So you guys can go ahead and go and, um, set up your, um, set your reminders. There go the link, you guys. 
I just placed the link. That's the link. You guys can grab it, click on it, and you can go and um, click the reminder, and it'll remind you, okay? All right, you guys. Um, it's going down tonight, though. I'm excited. We're going to have some fun. All right, let's go ahead and get into these transcripts of John Doe number one still, because like I said, I'm... I'm mm. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you. Um, yeah, because we we I'm not getting my foot off of the neck of uh of of these people. All right, so let me share my screen with y'all or whatever. Okay, all right. I could have sworn this is where we left off at, right? 1875. It's been a minute since you read this. Oh, uh, thank y'all so very much for the congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Shakita. Thank you. That is wonderful news. All right. Okay, y'all. Like y'all ready? Okay. He answers. Oh, well, let me let me go back a little bit because we don't know what 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 this part is talking about. Okay. What did you do with the camcorder at that time? Oh, this is when he stole the camcorder and come to find out, one nothing on this particular camcorder. It was just rehearsals with um R. Kelly gave it to him uh he took it back you gave it to this individual yes in 68 for the record yes aside from the, uh, from that camcorder was there anything else that you took from the defendant of the defendant's residence no can i can i stop it right there just weird how everybody's been saying how Brooklyn, I need a Zelle account. I do got a Zelle account. Look, y'all. Okay. I, let me give you my Zelle information, too. I'm sorry. I do have a Zelle account. I do. It's, it's my email. Let me put that down here, too. Um, it's my... It's, let me get that information. Okay, so I'm just updating um, my my Zelle. Okay, my Zelle information. Thank you for pointing that out. Thank you. Okay, so I can give you. Uh, it's my email, y'all. My Zelle information is my uh, my email. Reviews with Winnie D at gmail.com. Let me put that on there. All right, I just updated it. So if you guys want to zail me, it's right there. All my information is right there. Okay. All right. Let me let me sorry, y'all. Let me put a space. Okay. There y'all go. We got my cash out, PayPal, and my Zelle information right there. Okay. All right, let me get back into these transcripts. Thank y'all so very much for looking out for me. Thank y'all so very much. Thank you, Brooklyn. Okay, this is still um, John John Doe one. We're still on him. Um, you just you came in late, Alice. However, we were just this um, Mike Hill of B and C, also the husband of uh, Cynthia Bailey from Real Housewife of Atlanta just came out with the fact of the matter that he was molested at a young age. And so it correlated in regards to John Doe number one still, because it's showing that many men, this is something that happens and not too many people are talking about it. So this is John Doe number one, you guys. Put the word out if anybody else asks, because y'all know I'm not in my chat, okay? John Doe number one, okay? John Doe number one, where we left off, okay? And if you guys ever want to get into more transcript reading, there are other people that read transcripts. You know, you just look it up nine times out of ten. You know, they're they're reading and I, they're kind of behind though. It's not really anybody that's reading current transcripts, to my knowledge. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just sticking to my topics over here. Okay. All right, let's get into this. Okay. All right. Do you remember the last time that you? Oh, oh, what I was saying in regards to this though, y'all, is that. It's awfully funny how we hear about him. Um, uh, people were saying, well, some, they were stealing. They were stealing. Um, rightfully so, they were stealing, right? And 
you hear him cursing them out and going off on them but this dude stole too are y'all seeing what what why i do the comparisons between the sexes why are you cussing and going off on this young lady who you claim to stole all this stuff but yeah you didn't do nothing to him it's nothing in here where it states that he got cussed out by r kelly or anything like that he still was involved with this dude after the fact I'm just saying things to make you go home it's just interesting to me that he didn't keep the same energy with this with this dude do you remember the last time that you saw the defendant in person yes prior to today yes where did you last see the defendant in person at the trump towers where was the defendant living at that time at the trump towers what led you what led to you seeing the defendant at the trump towers he told me he needed to talk to me you know what i'm finna let me do this real fast let me i gotta i'm just gonna reschedule not reschedule but push back um the party I mean the after party if y'all don't mind because we're not going to get done in time i don't think and i don't want to push y'all out of here that's all right i'm not going to be able to do it right now it's okay what led to you seeing the defendant at the trump towers he told me he needed to talk to me do you remember approximately when this happened when you last saw him i'm not sure of the date uh you said that you saw him at the trump towers was that the trump towers in chicago yes where he was living yes you said that the defendant said that he needed to see you is that correct yes who if anyone else was there when you saw the defendant at the trump towers that day the only person i saw there that day was him what happened when you saw the defendant uh we sat in the hallway which hallway of the trump towers and do you remember what floor you were on no do you remember what happened when you saw the defendant he came to the door um he, he came out said we need to talk uh he had a notepad and a pen and were you meeting with the defendant inside an apartment at the trump towers or outside outside in the hallway okay uh so in the hallway outside of the apartment is that correct correct you testified he came out with what a notepad and a pen what did he say to you told me he said he need me to write this letter to protect me and him and how did you respond i said okay did the defendant tell what you he wanted you to write in this letter yes did you in fact write the letter yes how did you write it how did i write it uh-huh he gave me the notepad and i wrote the letter a handwritten letter yes and whose idea was the content meaning what he wrote in that letter he told me word for word what to say sounds awfully familiar with all the likes of these other jane does but somehow they're all liars um but no one is talking about john doe hmm 
interesting. Wouldn't you agree? Very, very interesting uh, to say the absolute least. But let's continue, shall we? Hmm. Okay. He told me word for word what to say. What did he tell you what to write? He told me that some people were trying to contact me and pay me off because they say we was having a sexual homosexual relationship. Wait, what? Hold on. Let's run that back. We won. He told me that some people were trying to contact me and pay me off because they say we have in a sexual homosexual relationship. I don't know if you guys notice, but it's a, it's a reason why he's not only having them write the letters. Well, one, it's more authentic when it's, it's their handwriting, but two, he probably can't spell some of the words that he needs them to spell. Anyways, uh, let's continue. Um, and so what did he want you to say about that? That's what he wanted me to write in the letter that uh, some people was calling me to contact me to pay me to say we was having a sexual relationship. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So that's the context of the letter. That's what he was saying in the letter. Hmm. And so what did he want you to say about that? That's what he wanted me to write in the letter. That some people was calling me to contact me, to pay me. To say we was having a sexual relationship. Basically trying to throw the narrative. Trying to say in the letter, yeah, these people are trying to pay me to say these things. It's not true, but they're trying to pay me. Chad. Did you indicate in that letter whether you were or were not having a sexual relationship with the defendant no at that time had anyone contacted you to had anyone contacted you about a sexual relationship with the defendant no <laughs> no had anyone paid you any money no in regard to a sexual relationship with the defendant, no. So was the contents of the letter that you wrote true? No. Kind of like all the letters. And that's why you got to tread very lightly when y'all throw out where the parents. When you hear these letters, that are true and want to run with that narrative. Oh, but I'm here to fickety fact check yo behind. Let's continue, shall we? So was the context of the letter that you wrote true? No. You testified that the defendant told you it was for his protection. Is that correct? Yes. What did you understand the defendant to mean by that? I thought it was something that will protect us. So what happened in the past would never come to light. 
But if it wasn't a problem with what y'all did in the past, why would it matter if it came to light or not? I'm just asking. What do you mean? What had happened in the past? Exactly, girl, come on with it. Sexual encounters that we had. Aside from telling the government in prior meetings and your lawyer and today in this courtroom, have you told anyone about that letter? No. Well, yes, I did. I, I did. Do you remember who you told without saying the name? Number 68. The individual shown in number 68. Yes. Do you remember when you told this individual in number 68 about the letter? I think uh, we was out. Uh, we went to the mall or something like that. I had just told him that I had to write a letter. Um, and he told me he had to write the same letter. change my earrings I, mean, I need to deflect i need to change my mind. I, can, I, I guess everybody's a liar i i i can't <laughs> he just having a measly wheezy conversation to come to find out oh i did too i want to switch gears for a moment who did you live with during high school my mom and stepfather. And what if any relationship did you have with your biological father when you were in high school? Some more relationship. Would you spend time with him? Yes. When would you spend time with, with him? Mostly on the weekends. Without saying it, do you remember your home telephone number at your mother's house uh, when you were growing up? Yes. Did you provide that telephone number to the government? Yes. Does she still have that phone number today? Yes. I'm showing the witness only what is marked for identification as, as government's exhibit 939. Do you recognize uh, what is shown in government's exhibit 939? Yes. What is that? Uh, my parents' phone number. Now, is that the phone number for your, your mother and your stepfather when you were in high school? Yes. The government offers 939, Mr. Kennick. Uh, my only objection is uh, to relevance, your honor, the judge. Overrule. Jury only. Miss Gideon. Yes, jury only. The judge admitted into evidence, jury only. Government Exhibit 939 was received in evidence. Ms. Gideon continues. Now, uh, do you remember the telephone number of your biological father's house when you were in high school? Yes. Did you provide that telephone number to uh, the government? Yes. I'm showing you what is marked for identification as government's Exhibit 953A. Witness only. Do you recognize government's exhibit 953A? Yes. What is that? My father's phone number. The government offers 953A, Mr. Kennedy. Same objection, the judge. The objection is overruled. Is this jury only? Yes, please. It's admitted into evidence. Government Exhibit 953A was received in evidence. And finally, are you aware of, was your biological father remarried when you were in high school? Yes. And, <clears throat> excuse me, are you aware of her telephone number when you were in high school? Yes. Did you provide that telephone number to the government? Yes. Government is showing the witness only what is marked for identification as 953D. Do you recognize what is shown in 953D? Yes. What is that? My stepmother's 
phone number. And when you say your stepmother, are you referring to your biological father's then wife? Yes. This is where you would spend weekends in high school at. Hold on, y'all. Yes, give me a moment. Sorry, y'all, child. It's going to be a long day, a long night. I have to give me a bite in. Excuse me. <laughs> Let's continue, shall we? Okay. Yes. Miss Kitties. The government offers 953D. The judge. The same objection. Mr. McKinney. Yes, Your Honor. The judge. The objection is overruled. <laughs> Jury only is an evidence. Government exhibit 953D was received in evidence. Since 2007 or 2006, when you first met the defendant, how regularly did you speak with uh, the defendant over the telephone when you were in speaking terms with him? A lot. That's when y'all got to know. This is why they're trying to validate telephone numbers. You got to know that they pull telephone records. And that's why I be telling people. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Did he have the same phone number during the 15 year period or multiple phone numbers? Multiple. Now, do you recall any of this telephone numbers? Yeah. How many? I remember one specifically. And do you remember when he had this particular phone number? No. What was the telephone number? I could say it. Yes. 630-220-1166. Now, you also got to remember that they ask all these witnesses this, okay? They're going to correlate them and see if they match up, okay? So this is all very important, okay? Over the years uh, that you spent time with the defendant, what, if anything, did you see the defendant carrying with him? Mostly a backpack. Oh, how familiar. I remember John Doe, uh, I mean, Jane Doe 5, yeah, said that he carried a backpack that had iPads in it. She was a liar. Then they came out with pictures with this bedazzled backpack that this big old grown 50-something-year-old man stayed with. Shall we continue? Did you ever have any opportunity to see what was inside that backpack? I don't know uh, everything that was in there, but from the most part, um, I seen an iPad or money come out of there. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. My turn. Why ain't nobody talking about this? I'm guessing John Doe 1, Jane Doe 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I guess they all lying. 
all identifying this backpack, all identifying a piece of content that lies within it, be it these freaking um, iPads. Let me continue. <laughs> I don't know everything that was in there, but from most our part, I, I, I seen an iPad or money come out of it. Uh, when would you see an iPad come out of the backpack? at the gym or when the encounter is about to happen the judge excuse me did you say it was uh 630-220-1166 yes ma'am sorry about that who did you see taking out the ipad from the backpack Robert, the defendant. Yes. Did there come a time that you offered money uh, to a potential witness in the government's case against the defendant here? Yes. Did you learn that at the time you offer that money, to that potential witness that the witness was cooperating with the government and was recording your conversation. Y'all want to know who that one was? Jane Doe number five. <gasps> Asriel Clary. Oh, oh. <laughs> let's continue. Child, y'all, this is me. Looney Tunes. Um, let's continue. Remember all the the, the 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 car blowing up and and the the house been on fire. Everybody laughed at her and was talking about her and stuff like that. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. All right. And I could be wrong. It could have been the bribe was somebody else. But if I'm not mistaken, that was. Yeah. I can confirm that though. Uh, matter of fact, hold on. Let me get that answer for y'all, but let's continue. That potential witness, that witness was cooperating with the government and was recording your conversations. Yes. What did you offer that potential witness money to do? To not cooperate with the government? Yes. Did there come a time when you were arrested and charged with a crime in federal court. Yes. What were you charged with? Robbery. Just to be clear, was the defendant involved in any way with that offer to pay money to a potential witness? No. Whose idea was it? Mine. You testified that you were charged with bribery. Was it bribery of uh, the potential witness who you just testified about? I'm sorry, uh, what was that? You testified that you were charged with bribery. Were you charged with bri bribing that potential witness? Yes. How did you resolve that case? I took a, I, I plead guilty. What crime did you plead guilty to? Attempted robbery. What is the maximum sentence that you faced? 15 years. You testified that you pleaded guilty to attempted bribery. What if any type of agreement did you have with the government? just a cooperation deal 
what are your obligations under the cooperation agreement? To be truthful and honest to the government. Now, if y'all don't gather that, see, nobody's talking about this particular witness. That's why I'm standing on this particular witness, because ain't nobody talking about this. He's cooperating with the government. And in order to save his fanny pants, he has to be truthful and honest. Just like a lot of these people that were involved are going to have to do to get lesser sentences because they were involved. Uh, let's, let's continue. And I will be giving you guys after we end this reading an update as to what's currently going on with the trial. Okay. So you guys just stay put. We're almost going to wrap up with this, with these transcripts. Okay. Do you have to testify here today? Yes. Do you want to be here today? No. What, if anything, do you understand you'll receive in exchange for being truthful with the government and testifying here today? A letter. What is in that letter? Basically letting the judge know everything um, I've done up to this point. Who writes that letter? The government. Is that letter, does the government recommend a particular uh, sentence to the judge who will sentence you today, who will sentence you? No. As you sit here today, uh, do you know what your sentence will be? No. You testified earlier that when you first met the defendant, you wanted him to help you with your musical aspirations. Is that right? Yes. Uh, do you still hope to make it in the music world? Yes. What if anything, over the 15 years that you knew the defendant, did he, the defendant, do to help you with your musical ambitions? Say it with me now. Not a damn thing. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. Nothing. Like none of these alleged victims. Nothing. Goose egg. Zero. Zilch. Did not die. Nothing. Nothing. Nope. Not nothing. He did nothing. Go sit down, Demi. He did nothing. How, if at all, do you believe that your testimony today would affect your ability to make it in the music industry? It will affect it. How so? My reputation. In a good way or a bad way? In a bad way. One moment. Nothing further, Your Honor. We're going to stop right there. We stopped at 1887. Uh, please put that in the chat. We will continue. Let's talk about what we just heard, okay? Let's talk about what we just heard, okay? And then we're going to get into an update um, in regards to what is going on right now uh, with um, the trial, okay? So as we just heard, basically, again, they're showing us the pattern of this man, if you guys ain't heard it. Also, here in the fact of the matter that he stole himself, but it was no uproar. He just sat down with this kid and just said, hey, can you write this letter for me so I won't get in trouble? You know, where's the outrage, the uproar in regards to this whole shabacle? You know, it's just, it's just, it's just weird. What do you guys have to say in regards to everything? just weird just weird unbelievable 
what's going on in the case now let's get to a present update while you guys are putting your comments in there okay um, who this John? okay kimmy says i wouldn't want to still be in the industry it i'm telling you west coast you say you he's a groupie you think so what hmm I feel like this. I play like this. Groupy or not. That's just like seeing. Mm -mm. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Hold on, y'all. I'm still here. Let me change my uh, battery up. It worked now. <laughs> Go get it. Okay. I'm back, y'all. Sorry about that. It's like this for me. There we go. Sorry, y'all. Sorry about that. It's like this for me. It's just like Sam. Oh, that was a prostitute. It don't matter if she got killed. That was that was a transgender. It don't matter. That that was a slut. She don't matter. No, groupie or not, you still do not deserve to be solemnized, violated in any type of way. That's period. That's just my thoughts. And I feel like some people, you know, we can get in way over our head when it comes to situations. Well, he could have got into that thinking, yeah, this is going to be my, my way up. This is going to be my way out. And got in way over his head. And I don't condone that being an excuse well he was just a groupie is that still not a person because he was a groupie i don't i just i don't know about that west coast what is going on with my camera jesus what are we doing oh no y'all i don't know what's going on Okay, sorry about that, y'all. Devil is busy. Don't want me to get into these conversations, but the devil is alive. No weapon. No weapon. Okay, let me see if that works. There we go. Okay, let me make sure. Let me confirm. Okay, yeah, we good. We good. Um Michelle said, oh well, okay. Carnaliza Mo says, Jeronda Pace told Tasha K he gets along better with men than women. Exactly. And that goes back, if you ask me, it goes back to his molestation, his, his trauma. Because if you also remember with his brother, his brother said, we all got touched. We all got messed with. But he liked it. So, you know what I'm saying? And so maybe he just is tapping back into that. And to be honest with you, I've said this to you guys before. He probably is just playing this role of being the pop pop of R&B and wanting ladies, but he really want to be with a man. But can you really imagine R. Kelly getting as far as he would have in his career if he was homosexual? We're going to talk about it. Look at the likes of, uh, b -b 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 what, what's his name? little nice or whatever now he's just on another level but um you know that's just not acceptable so i think that he did what he needed to do to get where he needed to go however you know what i'm saying like he really wants to be with a guy that's just that's just my opinion i don't know michelle says i think the topic of male on male sexual abuse makes a lot of people uncomfortable exactly and that's the reason i'm talking about it 
because you guys have uncles, you have sons, you have brothers that got touched and they are beating women, raping them and put take the G off, molesting them, abusing them, solemnizing them, doing just like what this guy is doing because of what they went through that they can't talk about. So I'm going to talk about it. I don't care who is uncomfortable about it because they deserve to be heard too. And if they would have listened to R. Kelly back then, we wouldn't have this issue now. West Coast says, I agree. Nobody deserves abuse. Thank you, West Coast. Uh, Michelle says, then Jeronda got with him thinking he'd understand her pain. But then he abused her too. Yeah, vicious cycle. And that's the sad, sickening part about it. You get an opportunity to be a blessing to somebody or be that mentor, be that person that's going to get them through. And then you do the very thing to them that they were crying out about. It's very sick and very sad to say the least. But again, go back to that whole thing. Hurt people, hurt people. West Coast says, I'm just wondering why he would make bribes on behalf of someone without their knowledge. Exactly. We clearly know he did that on behalf of R. Kelly. And you want to know why I think that he did that? Because if she spoke, then his stuff would get out too. You get what I'm saying? Why do you think a lot of people, people, when they're transgender? Because they don't want that to get out that they got that they mess with them. Uh, we're going to talk about it over here. So he felt like if I can get her to stop doing this, then my stuff won't come out and look at him. He's still on the stand. So he, he wasted his time. Beautifully animated said facts, Whitney. People need to stop being so quick to devalue people based on their, uh, on their status. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Michelle said, the bribe was for him himself because he was ashamed he didn't want the truth out either. That's what I just said, Michelle. Yep, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. All right, so we're going to get into an update as to what is going on currently. And then, you know what? We just may make that 8 o'clock mark. I, was, I, I pushed it back so many times. I pushed it back from 8 to 8.30. Then I went back in there and I put it to 8.15. Um, I'm about to change it back to, because um, I want to give myself a little time, though, to change, because I don't want to be all fancy pants while we're having a good time. So we're I'm, I'm going to change it to 8.10. We're going to get into the jam session at 8.10. Hey, baby. Mm -hmm, it's over there. Demi got it. That's right. Okay. Hey, Diva Time 2. Okay, so I'm going to get into this update, and then you guys, we're going to call it a quit. So we're going to get ready for music and convos tonight with Whitney D. Okay, so let me go ahead and share my screen with you guys and show y'all this update real quick, okay? All right, there's two clips. I'm going to try to play both. Did he go with Azriel's brother, too? Huh? Okay. All right. Keep it cute, okay? Because if you're trying to be funny by that statement, you will be uh, moved up out of here. But we didn't say nothing about um, Azriel's brother. I swear, y'all talk about people that y'all say that I'm on that payroll more than I do. It, it's ridiculous. We didn't have any. Okay, let's run this back. Prosecutors are nearing the end of their case in the R. Kelly sex trafficking and racketeering trial. They'll be back in court today after a break for the Jewish holiday Yom Kippur. They presented dozens of witnesses and evidence, including video and audio recording. Can y'all hear a this? Lot of very disturbing uh, witnesses and allegations being made in this trial. 
Back with us this morning to discuss it is our justice correspondent, Candace Kelly. And good morning to you, uh, Candace. On this Friday, uh, let's talk about this thing. Um, only the jury uh, allowed to listen to the video and the audio of R. Kelly, uh, the public, the media, not allowed to hear it. Um, but what do we know from the motions about what was on those recordings? Well, Mike, what's really important is that the uh, defense attorneys, they made several motions. They basically pleaded with the, ju with, with the judge not to even have, have any of this admitted. But what we see from the motions, even though, as you said, we didn't have any information about it because we're not privy to it, is that R. Kelly was uh, uh, making... Um, uh, making uh, allegations against the witnesses that they had stolen his watch, yelling at them, berating them, saying, if you do anything, you better watch your back or something's going to happen to you. And in some of the papers, we see that he says, look, I raised you, so you need to act the way that you are supposed to act which is a very mm -hmm. interesting phrase to say, I raise you, kind of implying that I raised you since you were younger. Um, so we get into this whole idea. Did he know that he was young? Nothing that he explicitly said that uh, in terms of, you know, you are this age, but there's the implication that if I raise you, that these are people um, who are young. He said, you better not ever, ever take from me again mm. or I'll be in Florida and something will happen to you. So these are, are really big things that are going on because this is the first time that we ever hear R. Kelly's voice because you mm -hmm. better be rest assured the defense attorney is not going to put him on the stand. Yeah, yeah I was going to ask you about that, uh, Candace, because, you know, we've heard a lot of allegations from a lot of the victims uh, or the survivors uh, in this case, but to actually hear his voice, to actually hear uh, some of the things that they're alleging, the jury hearing that, what, what kind of impact do you think that'll have on them? Well, you know, all this time we have heard almost a month now of witnesses saying what he said, what he did, how he acted. But this is the first time that the jurors get an insight and hear his voice. To hear his voice, and if it was anything like the Gal King interview, it might have been that piercing voice that we heard when he got mm. really noticeably and disturbingly mad. So to put that with all of these other stories, you, you know, you can per perhaps more than just think about him doing it, but you can actually see him doing it in 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 their minds and kind of connect the dots mm -hmm. and that's what the prosecution wants they want the jury to connect the dots you don't think that R. Kelly could do something like this and that he you know was created these beautiful songs I believe I can fly and he's maybe perhaps played at your wedding but listen to this guy now now you have him in your ear he is in your earphones what does this sound like to you does this sound like a nice man or does this sound like a man who would do some of the things that we've been talking about for the past four weeks. And this is what they want the jury to do. And it's easier for them to put this together and conceivably see him doing these things. Yeah, it definitely should have an impact uh, on the jury to actually hear and uh, see him uh, doing some of these things or actually hearing him doing those things, uh, most more notably in the trial, like uh, the Derek Chauvin trial, when you actually saw that tape, it had a huge impact on uh, the Absolutely. jury and of course the nation. Um, Homeland Security, they, they, so they found these recordings uh, in uh, R. Kelly's uh, Trump Tower home. But w what else did they find that could be detrimental to the uh, defense? So listen, they testified for a couple of days, and we not only heard from um, somebody this week from Homeland Security, but but a couple of weeks ago, just to talk about when they searched R. Kelly's uh, Trump home, when they uh, searched some of his storage space, they found iPhones, they found phones, they found iPads, and on it, they found everything from text to explicit videos that we will probably see or hear or that the jury will, um, a, an ID that seems to be a fake ID of Geronda Price, uh, where she it is allegedly to make her look maybe like she's three years older. So you see all of this evidence, mm -hmm. wow. this evidence that they find that certainly lends itself for the jury to say, hey, listen, if this was on R. Kelly's person or in things that belong to him, um, then maybe they actually were associated or connected with him, especially if he is on these videos. So really, if the prosecution is going to finish up this week, perhaps today, this is a very, very big way to finish up their case. Yeah, well, on that note, so the prosecution could uh, call its final witness uh, as early as today, as you mentioned. What do you expect out of the defense next week when they begin their case? Yeah, so the defense really has a very hard road to go. However, as I said, you know, they found, uh, you know, this the, the, the iPad 
um, and they found other information from Homeland Security, um, they can say that perhaps, you know, this is something that the young women wanted to be a part of. Maybe they wanted to be a part of these videos. They can kind of stab holes in their mm. testimony by saying, listen, didn't you get uh, luxury gifts from him? Wasn't he a very nice person? You went on shopping sprees. You stayed there after, you know, after you were of age, correct? So you can really kind of mm. um, imply that these women wanted to be here. Other than that, there really is not much of a defense unless you're just saying you are lying. And when you do that to someone who's on the stand who says and alleges that they've been victim of the sexual assault, that doesn't look very good. I know that we have a, a female that will be doing the questioning. Of course, it puts her in a better position, but it doesn't look good to put a sexual assault victim, whether or not she's alleged or, or not, but to put her through that again and say, basically, you're lying, that is not a good look. So they don't have a good way to go, except for to say, didn't you want to be there? Hey, Nini. You knew what you were getting into. You got into it. All right, you Kelly about to use phone. this job. You, you never did it. <laughs> That was on you. you know, assault is assault. And if they were underage, it's wrong. Anyway, I'm, I'm not the jury. Candace Kelly, uh, <laughs> stick around. He said it right. He said it right. If they were underage, assault is assault on period. But I like what Megan said. Bring that back, Megan. He about to lose his job. Or Kelly about to lose his job. <laughs> Who cares? Let me see what you guys got to say. We about to wrap up. And I saw somebody asking, um, what was um, music and convos? Well, let, me, let me show you what it was. That is going to take place right after this live. Um, the link to go ahead and set your reminder is um, in the chat now, okay? And we just talk real candid, cool, calm, collect. I turn on music, we play games, and we just decompress. So if you had a long day, if you had a long week, stay here or actually go grab you a snack and come right back, click the link, and just wait. And we just going to have fun. People in here can tell you we have fun. Okay, we have surprise guests that come through. You just got to be there, okay? You just got to be there. All right, Um, let me see what you guys got to say. And I got probably like five minutes and we're going to wrap everything up because you guys got to come back, okay? Cornella Zamo said, oh, nice. Love your accent and style. Thank you, Texas. Tejas, y'all. Um, You are better than many other bloggers. Oh, wow. Thank you. Even the more popular ones. Oh, thank you. Please continue doing what, what you're doing. God bless. Thank you so much. Y'all, look, y'all gonna stop. My head is never gonna get big because I got a husband and a mother that keeps me grounded. Okay, they'll, boop, they'll pop that big old bubble real quick. Um, so I'm grateful though. Um, I just, this is me. If you see me on the street, I'm like, Hey, what's up? Like, I just, this is me. And my passion is authentic because I've been there. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, when you get linked up to machines, networks and things of that nature, you kind of got to dial it back. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm, I, I'm so big on creating my own space you know what i'm saying i love the attention from like i said new york times and stuff like that but baby this this i, I can't sign my soul over i can't this is me and i want to be as authentic and transparent with everybody here and love on y'all you know without being held accountable um but in regards to somebody saying something about his son uh making a statement i don't know about no statement okay i don't know i haven't heard anything about that um and then in regards to um R. Kelly doing something with his son? No. Don't you think he would be on trial if that was the case? Come on, y'all. Don't believe everything that people put out there. Like I always say, test the spirit by the spirit. Even me. I say something, test it. Do your research. You know what I'm saying? Call me a bluff. It's okay. I'm okay with that. But then when I bring receipts, you got to give me my credit. 
me see what else y'all gotta say. Nene, Demon, uh, Beamon said, uh, Venom said, I'd really like to believe that, Megan. <laughs> Kimmy says, I'm so happy as told where the iPads were at uh, allegedly. Uh, the recording is what is going to take him down. And what people got to understand, this is a build up, baby. Fed has a 97% conviction rate. Why? Because they will take two years. They will take three years. They will take however long they need to gather up their uh, information. And then when they get you, they strike and they strike hard. On a local scale, what they do, they arrest you, put you in jail, and then they gather up their evidence. And they got to do it in so much of a short time. Fast, they got all day. They understand the assignment, okay? So good luck with that. That's why I be like, y'all, these ridiculous free R. Kelly's is not going to work. And furthermore, let's just be honest. He's black. Yeah, he's washed up. Just like Bill Cosby. They was ready to throw his old 90,000-year-old tail under the jail. He only got off by default. Let's just be real. He did that. He even admitted to doing it. But see, they weren't supposed to use that against him. Oh, see, the difference is between R. Kelly and Cosby. This fool is still acting as if he didn't do nothing. So off with his head, okay? He has no remorse. Nene says, I'm sorry if I missed your last video on Friday. I had a break breakdown after watching the repeat. Oh, it's okay, baby. Nikki says... Yes, as did a great job, Kimmy Love. I mean, yesterday. It's okay. It was it was heavy yesterday. It was heavy. I hope you're okay. That's why we gotta get we gotta get loose tonight. We'll have fun tonight. How do I get to music and combos? Just stay here. No. Um, I just put the link. Let me pin it. I just put the link in the chat. All you have to do is uh, click on it, and we haven't did it yet. So all you got to do is, um, there you go. It's pinned at the top, okay? All you have to do is click on that link. And since we ain't in it yet, it's just going to set your reminder. It's going to ask you to set the reminder. Okay, let me see, because I'm going to wrap it up, you guys, because we got to get ready. I got 10 minutes. Or right, did I change it? Uh oh. Let me change it. <laughs> I'm going to change it to 15 because I really want to change, y'all. I'm sorry. I got to change out of this. I got to get comfortable. So we're scheduled for 8 15 now. I'm going to come on at 8 15. All right. I think that's it. All right, you guys. That is it for me. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I pray that I'm keeping you guys abreast to what uh, everything that's going on in this whole R. Kelly trial. Like I said, I'm I'm just like it's it's very heavy. So that's why I try to, you know, go in between this um, with other stuff. So y'all don't get sucked into this rally. That's why we tell the people um, as as deep as you think that I am, as far as the connection between me and Angelo and the Claire's and all that stuff like that. We don't talk about this all day. I have a genuine relationship with them well, i talk about my marriage i talk about my kids i talk about his marriage his kids like we don't sit here and talk about this trial all day okay i i just don't it's just too heavy you know what i'm saying so um with that being said you do the same learn to decompress and get off of here and stay out of everybody else's business mind the business that pays you okay like for real for real but not for nothing you guys again um we're going to leave out of here here soon but come back to the channel at 8 15 central standard time because i'm central standard time i'm here in texas um it's uh 806 here i'm coming back at 8 15 here not here in this live because this is going to be long gone it's going to be a playback but i'm gonna have another pre-schedule just come to the channel i'm gonna put it on the community tab if you can't see it i'm gonna share it on the community tab you guys share it so other people can get in and come back here for Doo -doo -doo -doo.
right. And if you guys want to send me any kind of uh, love messages or whatever, text messages, conspiracy theories, stuff pertaining to this trial, send it on over to um, reviewswithneyd at gmail.com. I guarantee you I'll respond to majority of my emails. Okay. Now, if you're embarking on a business journey and you need graphics, websites, logos, anything to that nature, or you're trying to get into YouTube and you need an intro, outro, banner or whatever, all this is a bang a bang. Hit me up at WhitneyDavisPlanning.com or send me an email at WhitneyDavisPlanning at gmail.com and I will re respond immediately, okay? But not for nothing, you guys. I will see you guys back here, same bad place, same bad time uh, to uh, kick things off for our Friday, uh, Friday night uh, jamma jam, okay? Love you guys so very much, but most of all, God loves you. Be blessed. I'm Audi 5000. Peace. But today I saw a ladybug and it's so crazy because Whitney used to always call me ladybug and I used to always, we used to have thousands of ladybugs in Virginia and come summertime. We used to open up all the windows and thousands of ladybugs would just come into the house. They would fly into the house and it would just be the most beautiful thing ever. And um, I saw a ladybug today and it made me think of Whitney. That's so crazy. It really made me think of Whitney.